Tonight, a woman is suing after she was hit by a trash truck. That moment all caught on camera. You could see a waste management dumpster truck move forward and then back up and then a fork from that forklift. Oh, hit that woman and knocked her over. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. What you just saw was uh, an accident that seriously injured that woman. Tonight, CBS 8's Abby Black shares how her life is forever changed. A Mission Valley woman says that in 2021 she was hit and injured by a waste management truck. Now she's suing the trash and recycling company and says that she has the video to prove it. This is the surveillance video taken from inside the parking garage at the Mission Village condos. It will make you cringe. Watch as the waste management driver puts the truck in reverse, then one of the metal forks from the forklift impales a woman and throws her to the ground. She's had a neck surgery where the doctors had to go in through the front of her neck and fuse her vertebrae in her neck. The woman is Deanna Beck. She says that she was a dolphin trainer at SeaWorld for 16 years. She didn't want to talk about what happened, but was at the news conference today with her attorneys, Corey Garrard and John Gomez. They shared the surveillance video and spoke about the lawsuit they filed against waste management and the driver claiming negligence. Really has devoted her uh, lifetime to the care and protection of animals and really enjoyed that career. It's something that she can't do any longer. Moments before Beck was hit, you see on the video the waste management driver move the dumpster back into place. Fast forward a few seconds, watch as the driver puts on his seatbelt, Beck walks into the garage and waits for the truck to move forward. You can see Deanna checks to make sure she's good to go. She's in the marked crosswalk. And then for an unknown reason, the truck goes in reverse, and before Beck can turn and see what's happening, she's knocked to the ground. And she's violently skewered by the waste management vehicle in reverse. Garrard says what you don't see on camera, but he plans to prove in court, is the driver violating company and vehicle codes. The defendant of the waste management vehicle um, being driven in this case was on his phone at the time he impaled Deanna Beck, that driver had been written up multiple times in the past for operating waste management vehicles while on his phone. Beck is seeking millions of dollars in damages. A civil jury trial is scheduled in October in Superior Court. We reached out to waste management. They said that they are aware of the lawsuit, but say they have no comment. In Mission Valley, Abby Black, CBS 8.